2018 was the latest vintage report, and these are the Flagate collections from Taylors, Fonseca and Croft. And we're going to start with the Taylors now and go over to Tony and Dia to see what they think. So this is the uh, third vintage in a row that uh, Taylors has declared. We had the pleasure of speaking to Adrian Bridge, uh, the chairman, last year, and his opinion is that uh, winemaking techniques have improved so much over the last decade that companies no longer feel the need to declare just three times every decade. They declare when the climatic conditions suit the wines. So the Taylor's 2018, which is growing in the far eastern sides of the Douro Valley, uh, had such a good climate and such good conditions throughout the year, they felt that the vintage was worthy of a declaration. Really unusual. It's never happened in the last, it's not happened in the last two, three hundred years that we've had three declarations from Taylor's in a row. So we need to taste this wine to find out if it's worthy of the declaration and the accolades. Absolutely. Well, I find a lot of black fruit, a lot of uh, dark forest fruit, such as blackberry, uh, you know, um, a little bit of black forest gato there, <laughs> if I may say so. Um, some black cherry and spicy, it's got a bit of cloves there. A little bit of mint, perhaps. Definitely mint, yeah. yeah. T to me, it seems very elegant. Mm -hmm. It seems very, very restrained as well, in mm -hmm. terms of the nose. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not getting a massive hit on the nose, but, it, but everything's there. Yeah, absolutely. It's not something that's up on your face, but it has something there in the back aromas that are quite elegant and quite interesting. And you can see that that will develop later on. There's um, a few layers in there yeah. as well. It's, also, it's developing uh, all the time. There's, there's, there's a lot going on in that glass. Actually. Yeah, there you go. The more we sniff it, we get some floral elements there. That classic uh, Portuguese flower found in the Douro Esteva. It's really interesting. Shall we try? Please do. Looking forward to this. I find the taste is explosive. Imagine I can't even speak because of the high acidity, which is very well balanced with the sweetness of this port. It actually makes me swell it again and again, which means it's so mouth watering and it's absolutely exciting. Do you find the same aromas of Re taste? Really picking up the black fruits, the mm. black currants coming across. Interesting, I'm getting a really nice hint of uh, licorice that's coming through, mm -hmm. which is absolutely amazing. Th th this is got so many things going on in, in your mouth it's 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 beautiful yeah and, and the finish just keeps going on and on and on i'm still tasting this now Absolutely. 30 seconds 40 seconds after i've done it and it's going to carry on for a while as well so th this is a this is a really good quality wine and it's got the typical taylor's structure Ta taylor's are always refined for having a good structure a lot of backbone Everything's there. It's, it's a classic Taylor's, in my opinion. It's a classic Taylor's. It'll it'll keep going for it'll keep going for many many years, and that has developed into a beautiful port uh, in in twenty, thirty, forty, well maybe even fifty or sixty years as well. Yeah, absolutely. I would probably think someone wants to buy a Taylor's now. Um, it's something for the long term. They'll buy it now. It'll start a drinking window will be around twenty twenty eight, and it can last up to twenty sixty five easily. Uh, if nicely kept in a nice uh, dark space uh, below 16 Celsius degrees um, and if the time comes to enjoy this lovely port in a few years time uh, perhaps enjoy it at room temperature with uh, lovely blue cheeses uh, general cheeses and also some dried fruit such as figs which will later on this wine show as it develops this is classic Taylor's. It is a classic Taylor's, um, absolutely, I'm with you there, I absolutely like it. It's, it's, it's got this elegance that you said uh, that, um, you know, it's not there up in your face, but it's lurking, it's so beautiful to try. So definitely, how much would you rate this? Well, it's it's in the, certainly in the outstanding category. 100%. Uh, I, I can't find many flaws with it. It's, I think, 96, 97, maybe 96 points if I have to settle on a number in yourself? Yeah, I would say same, but I would give it one more 97. Why not? <laughs> <laughs>